Problems may lurk beneath the old paint of an aircraft. Stripping it off can expose weaknesses in the aluminum skin. They brush on a powerful chemical solution. The paint bubbles off, bearing the aluminum and any small holes or dents in it. They seal the windows and doors and wrap sensitive components like antennas to protect them during stripping and repainting. Back to those flaws on the exposed aluminum. A production manager flags any damage or corrosion with blue tape. A technician then mixes a two-part aerodynamic filler. He works quickly because the compound will harden in minutes. He spreads the filler on the defects flagged by the production manager. The repair job smooths the surface for painting and makes the airframe stronger and more aerodynamic. This aircraft has been primed and sanded. Now technicians blow off all the dust. They also wipe it down with adhesive cloths. This intensive cleaning is crucial. The plane has to be squeaky clean or the paint won't adhere properly. Next, they prepare an additional primer. They spray it on areas that need more coverage and around parts that will get a lot of wear. Then they mix polyurethane paint with various catalysts and activators. It's a special aircraft blend. Jets can be jumbo sized, of course, so they often prep and paint a section at a time, sometimes on different days. They're now working on the fuselage and tail. Respirators and full body gear protect them from the hazardous fumes as they work from the top of the aircraft down. A warm, low humidity environment is essential to allow the paint to cure properly and they'll adjust the paint formula to compensate when conditions aren't optimal. An aircraft usually gets two to three coats, resulting in a high gloss finish. While it dries, a technician demonstrates for our camera the process of painting stripes onto an aircraft. He maps out the paint scheme with tape, then peels away some of it. He spray paints the exposed sections. He peels off more tape and then covers the freshly painted stripes with protective paper so he can spray another color onto the plane. He pulls back the final pieces of tape and this job passes with flying colors. They do some final detail work to make sure the lines are clean and crisp. After all, appearances count in the high-flying world of international travel. Even very tiny imperfections won't be tolerated. Using fine grit sandpaper, they make them disappear. It can take four weeks and 1,800 person hours to repaint a large jet. And when it comes to price, the sky's the limit. The least expensive jobs cost tens of thousands of dollars, so the customer has the final say. The handshake means this plane is ready to model its new look on the runway.